No, no, I, I don't know what the vote will be. It doesn't matter. I'll probably have to veto. And uh, it's not going to be overturned. And we're going to have our whole thing. It's been uh, all, the legal scholars all say it's totally constitutional. Uh, it's uh, very important. It's really a border security vote. It's pure and simple. It's a vote for border security. It's a vote for no crime. See, we have a border situation also, but it's slightly different than yours. Uh, ours is not actually complex. We have very, very bad laws that are archaic, that were put in by Democrats, and uh, the Republicans didn't fight hard enough at the time. That was a long time before me. But we have catch and release, and we have chain migration, and we have all sorts of things that are horrible. And uh, the world is laughing at the laws that were passed with respect to us. And uh, we are going to have a very strong border very soon. We're building a lot of wall. There's a lot of wall going up. I don't know if you see it. I don't know if you want to see it. But we're building a lot of wall, and there's a lot of contracts being let out actually tomorrow and over the next week for additional many, many miles of wall. And we're going to have hundreds of miles of wall up fairly soon. And uh, it's going to make a very big difference. But we also have to change the laws, because uh, whether it's visa lottery, whether it's chain migration, whether it's catch and release or anything else, they are horrible, horrible laws. I want to just commend our Border Patrol and ICE, what they've been doing. Uh, Border Patrol and our military, by the way, has been fantastic. Uh, we've building, we're building a lot of uh, the barbed wire areas where people were pouring through. They're not going through. They, are, they have done a fantastic job. We built some temporary fencing and we built some permanent fencing with the military. They have done a fantastic job. But the Border Patrol, they are capturing, catching, grabbing. They're doing whatever they have to do. Thousands of people, thousands of illegal aliens a month. 75,000 last month. The job they're doing, they're apprehending. Call it whatever you want to use, whatever you'd like to use. But they're apprehending thousands and thousands of people a month. And we're catching them and we're keeping them. We're not doing a release. Now, at a certain point, we're going to have to do some release because we don't have the bed space, we don't have the, the room, and we don't have the funds to build new space because we have ridiculous laws. In other countries, Leo, when you have somebody come in illegally, you say, sorry, you have to leave. In our country, because the laws are so ridiculous, I mean, so stupid, we have to give them a trial. So we send them into the country, then they're supposed to come back, but they never come back. Very rarely do they come back. The most ridiculous set of laws, the Democrats' fault. We want to change them. Unfortunately, we need their votes, too. And I think it's going to be a great election issue. Okay, anything else? Say it. Are your immigration um, policies cruel? No, I don't think they're cruel. I think they're the opposite of cruel. Uh, they become cruel because they're so ridiculous and it hurts people. It actually does the reverse of what they're supposed to be doing. But no, they're actually meant to be the opposite and they're hurting people. They're really hurting people. A lot is of people. It, is it hurting and, reputation? And it's I think reputation. that we have done an incredible job. We're apprehending record numbers of people. But if we had border security, if we had the wall, if we had a proper wall, which we're building now, as we speak, and we're getting a lot more funding for it, as you know, in what we're talking about and the vote today. Whether it's positive or not, I'm vetoing it, unless I don't have to veto. I think that's unlikely. I'll do a veto. It's not going to be overturned. But we have done a great job at the border through apprehension. But we shouldn't have to be put in a position of apprehending 75,000 people a month. We shouldn't be in that position. Thank you all very much. I love being with the Prime Minister of Ireland. Thank you very much. Uh, we're doing very well with China talks. Uh, China talks are doing very well. Uh, we'll see what happens. If it's not a deal that's a great deal for us, we're not going to make it. But I would say that uh, we're moving along at, at a very high level. We're getting what we have to get. And uh, I think we're getting it relatively quickly. So the China talks are moving along as to whether or not we'll strike a final deal. That I would never want to say, but they're moving along very well. Mr. President, did you intervene in Jared Kushner's security clearance in Ivanka Trump's office? Thank you very much. Thank you, President. Thank you.
All right, President Trump speaking in the Oval Office just moments ago. Let me bring back in Nia Malika Henderson, who's kind enough to stick around. So, Nia, uh, he, take, he talks about Beto O'Rourke and uh, his, I guess, his style, his hand movements, but yeah. also, and maybe importantly for this very moment, the president also seems to be clarifying and renewing his veto threat when it comes to the vote coming up today in the Senate about the national security de declaration that he, that he made to, to get more funding for the border wall. That's right, because it looks like they've got enough Republicans uh, on board uh, to, to have this resolution of disapproval. Mitt Romney is signing on with the Democrats. Uh, so, but, but yeah, the president is, is steadfastly saying that he, pl he plans to veto it, uh, and it doesn't look like there'll be enough Republicans, finally, uh, w with whatever happens with this thing, uh, to override his veto. So it, you, in the House or the Senate there. So he sounded mm -hmm. you know, pretty confident there and pretty strongly saying uh, that he, he planned to veto uh, uh, veto it and, and that there was nothing going to be done about it. He also uh, is suggesting that there's already wall being built, uh, which I, I'm not sure there is actually any wall being built. There, there certainly wasn't any additional wall as of a couple of, of weeks ago. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a fight that the president uh, wants to have. He thinks about it in the context of, of, of 2020. Uh, we, of course, see uh, Beto or work out there today. He, at some point uh, before he announced, for instance, said that he, he would be uh, open to tearing down uh, some of the wall that's uh, in, in El Paso specifically, and the president there uh, saying, pay attention to Beto or Works hand movements uh, that he'd never seen uh, anything like that. I think if he looked at himself, oftentimes he'd see uh, some pretty wide-ranging <laughs> hand movements uh, from himself.